Back in the evening, all right? Okay, well, don't forget your phone. Where are you going? Why does it look like you're packing? I'm leaving you. What? I said I'm leaving you, Robert. Seriously? I can't believe you're doing this. Look, how many times do I have to tell you I'm leaving you? Dee, Dee, can you just hear me out, please? Please. I'm listening. What exactly is going on? I proposed to you a week ago and you said yes. Since then, you haven't said much to me. You haven't touched me. All of a sudden you're always busy. You don't even look at me when, I, when you talk to me anymore. Just like you're doing now. I'm sorry, Rob, but I'm gonna have to move out. I can't marry you. What do you mean you can't marry me? We've been together for two years. After six months, you met my mum. And my sisters. I met your two brothers. I even drove you up north on several occasions to visit your friend in prison. And waited hours for you in the car. We've lived together since the start. I love you. And you love me. I know you. I know your soul. You're a good guy, Rob. Maybe too good of a guy. Oh. I just took you two years to realise that. I don't deserve you. You don't know anything about me. You don't know anything about my past. Talking about. I was in a car crash and I seriously injured my back. To the point where my mobility was limited and I couldn't look after myself. So I had a carer come in and look after me and bathe me and give me pain killing injections. Diana, this isn't funny. I'm being serious, Rob. There's more. On a random day, I woke up and my back felt normal. And I could do everything for myself again. I didn't need a carer. But I didn't tell anyone. I still pretended I had mobility issues. Everything changed that day I went for a jog with my partner at the time. I'm tired, man. Oh, come on. Open up. Open, open. Listen, Dwayne. Can you sort pestering Sean for the money that he owes? I mean, it's not like we need it. You're loaded. Well, could you at least give him some more time? Can't do it. You see, the thing is, Sean and I had an arrangement. We had an agreement. Yeah, but can you just please for once be reasonable? If he doesn't pay by midnight, tell me that you're not going to do something irrational. Coming from the lady who killed a carer two days ago. Yeah, and who taught me that? Who got me into fraud? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Because you be a lady, I'll be a gentleman. Yeah. <coughs> Don't ever do that again. Just remember where the fuck you'd be if it wasn't for me. I'll meet you back at the flat. I'm gonna run a couple more laps. Um, 
You had your last carer for 18 months, right? Is that how long this has been going on? For 18 months? Do you want to just come inside and I can explain? Yeah, sure. I'm happy to listen, but I'm going to have to report this. Do you have to? Yes, I have to. Do you have any idea how expensive a carer is? Look, I haven't been doing this for 18 months yet, and at one point my back was really bad. Yeah, but it's not bad now, is it? Okay, just take me back to the beginning. How did we get here? Look, I was in a really bad car accident, yeah. And I seriously injured my back, which made a miraculous recovery. <laughs> Even after I could do everything by myself, I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to take advantage of the system and I'm going to keep claiming. <laughs> Wow. I, I don't know what to say. Um, thank you so much for your honesty today. You know, prior to today, there'd already been suspicions about your condition. You know, some of your neighbours, they saw you down at the gym. You invited one of them up to a party a couple of weeks ago. You know, did your last carer have any clue what was going on here? Not a clue, but an inkling. Typical blonde. What was her name? I don't remember. She was like, she was a ginger lady. Yeah. You just said that she was blonde. Yeah, all right, okay, yeah, she was blonde. Diana, what floor do you live on? Because I'm sure that your note said that you lived on the ground floor. Just keep walking. Diana, I think I'm going to go now. Can anybody? So what you're telling me is you should be the one behind bars. And not your friend Dwayne. And he's more than your friend. He was your partner. This just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? You're a disability fraudster, but also a murderer, a two-time killer. Please, Rob, just don't look at it like that. What do you mean, don't look at it like that? It's the only way to look at it. You're a fucking murderer. Rob, please. So how and why did you kill your first carer? Because you missed that one out. She was going to report me. I freaked out and I called Dwayne. And he told me to keep her in the house until he got there. He was going to try and give her some money so she wouldn't say anything, but she tried to leave. And she started screaming. When I tried to quieten her down and she was just like yelling and yelling, yelling and yelling. So I hit her with a dumbbell. <laughs> and I choked her with a skipping rope. Please don't tell me they're the same dumbbells and skipping ropes we used to work out with. This really does keep getting better and better, doesn't it? What did you and Duane do with the bodies? Don't tell me they're still in this flat, please. He dismembered them. He put them in two suitcases. 
The one with the body parts he put downstairs in the wheelie bins. And he took the one with the heads and the hands. The police stopped him before he got to his van. How did the police get him so quickly? How? Side of the park. What the fuck's it doing over there? Just give me the suitcase, Diana. There's too many fucking questions. Drive safe. Always. Hi. Police, please. Yeah, I'm a local resident of the Kingston area. Yeah, I've just seen a strange man getting towards Kennington Park. He's carrying a suitcase. Yeah, I think he might be armed. I've heard enough. And you know as well? You're right. I don't know who you are. I don't know you, and neither do my family. So what that also means is that you lied when you told me the was in prison for fraud. You framed him. What are you doing? Who are you calling? Calling the fucking police, you psycho! You wouldn't. Of course I would! I work for the fucking government! No, wait! Give me the phone! I've just done the math. So this would have only happened a year before we just met. My God. Give me the phone! No! 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 No